Hi. God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you doing here? I want you to understand. Oh, it's not necessary, really. No explanation required. But please don't talk to me like that. We had 13 years in, Eugene. He's sober now. We've never been sober together. Well, I wish you luck. I, I feel like I gotta give him a chance. A chance? A chance for what? To change. To try to make up for lost time. Oh, what, to take Trevor to some ball games? Do some real daddy things with him? Yeah, he promised to try. What do you want me to do? Oh, I don't know, be smart. He's his father, Eugene. He impregnated you, Arlene. In what other way is he been a father to Trevor? Unless knocking somebody around is a new family value. What are you talking about? He never touched Trevor. Oh, that's right. Only you. He only took it out on you. That's so much better. What did Trevor tell you? Enough. Christ, Arlene, secrets like that shouldn't be kept. What good does it do Trevor? You weren't there. Ricky never meant to hit me. We were drunk. Oh, Christ! We were... What is it with women like you? Is that something you really tell yourself? Oh, it's okay he beat me? Trevor's okay? Trevor has locked himself in a bathroom, and he can't breathe, and he's, and he's hoping and praying that it will stop. Trevor never went through that. How do you know what Trevor went through? How do you know? How do you know the next time after you, he doesn't come for Trevor? I know what I'm talking about, Arlene. My father got on his knees and begged my mother, and my mother, she always took him back. I never understood it. She'd cover the bruises and the cuts, and she'd take him back. Because he begged, and he cried. And now you ask me what happened after he came back. No. Now go on! You said you wanted to know what happened to me, now ask me! I don't like this. Did he hurt you, Eugene? Ask me! Did he hurt you? Not for long. By 13, I was gone. I ran away. But I missed her. So I had to go back and see her. And so one night I did. Now ask me what happened that night. What happened that night you came back, Eugene? What happened? He was there, drunk as usual. Only this time I wasn't the same. I was 16 years old. And I was no longer afraid of him. And when I looked him in the eye, and told him if he ever touched her again, I would kill him. He knew. He knew that he would never exist for me again. And I'm standing in front of the house. I'm telling her, I'm screaming for her to come out. I'm telling her she doesn't have to, she doesn't have to take it anymore. She really doesn't. She can come with me now. I don't even see it coming. He hits me in the side of the head with a two by four and I'm bleeding from my ear. And then he's dragging me. He's dragging me behind the house and into the garage. And then he's gone a minute, five minutes, I don't know. And then he's back and he's wetting me down. He's wetting me down and I don't understand. I don't understand why water should smell so bad. I don't understand. And then I see it. I see this. This gas can, this red gas can from his truck. And he looks at me one last time. And he lights a match. And the last thing I remember, and I'll never forget it, were his eyes. His eyes because they were filled with this immense satisfaction. I'm so sorry. Don't, 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 don't tell me how sorry you are for me! Just tell me how you're gonna stop it happening to Trevor. Ricky would never do that. Oh, Jesus, Arlene, he doesn't have to. All he has to do is not love him. <laughs>